My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Arena Total War. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new updated Pikeman which they recently changed in the most recent patch. They went ahead and gave Pikeman fatigue now which is a really interesting mechanic and I, want, I have no idea how it's going to make them play. If it's going to make them really bad or just kind of make them a little bit worse than they were. I have no idea. We'll have to load into some games and that's kind of the whole purpose of this video. Also I really 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 love these new backdrops for the front end of the game game itself it looks great and I, I really hope they do go ahead and add in more when rank comes out so that if you do get to say ranked one you get like a triumph uh you know celebration in rome and you have like actual animated ai characters and stuff it, there's just a lot they can do with this and it's something i really do like so you're going to be seeing plenty of these uh in my videos from now on but yeah we're going to be playing some tier five pikemen the theban pikemen um i could go up to the next tier but hey i'm, I'm just not going to i'm enjoying my time with these tier five Fives, and we'll see how the we'll see how the fatigue does affect these guys so let's just jump into a game and we'll go from there now this is a pretty good map for our pikemen because we can push through the actual city itself of the two villages and basically use our pikes to pressure the enemy in their own base uh, if we come up against some like say the javelins and we're a little bit screwed but even then our fighting machine shade does do a good job now granted if it's tier six javelins we might struggle a little bit but even still fighting the shade gives us the armor we need and the defense we need to really push back the enemy i honestly hope we come up against some other pikemen uh, that we maybe have to you know outplay i always like the pike on pike actions i think that's always really fun i am going to commit one unit of pikemen just into this pass just in case any cavalry tries to sneak its way through and we can stop it that way um, obviously we're repping our pink uh pink pikemen as well with the bigger shields as well, I know the default shields of these pikemen are much smaller, but I love using the bigger cosmetic shields. I know it doesn't really make sense because the pikemen would have to hold the uh, the pike with two hands and the shield would really get in the way, especially the way they're holding it now. But yeah, it just looks cool. I mean, it just looks, look, look. doesn't have to necessarily make sense. So we're going to push through here. Hopefully our team here, oh, we've got an AFK and a DC. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's a Ripperini over there then. So maybe we just push around into their base. Yeah, fuck it. Let's push around into their base. We'll send one unit, uh, basically just to guard here. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get... Oh no, he's nice. He's back. But that cavalry is going to go from here to over here. And someone is pushing these archers back as well. What? Let's bring them into our base. Don't know what you're doing. Definitely come back into our base. So they've got light artillery as well. That's pretty scary. Again, light artillery is something that we can't really deal with. But as I said, we're just going to push into their base. Why not? Nothing's really stopping us. Let's just go for it. If we can set up our pike wall now, this is going to have to be taken out if we want to try and cap the light artillery. But everything else is fine. So nice. We've got some uh, some slingers here. These are the tier 5 premium barbarian slingers. I don't think they get any bonuses with Ambriorix. So that's why we're probably seeing these guys being used with this commander with Arminius. Uh, sorry, what's what fucking just hit me there? Was that... Oh, they've got artillery as well. Okay, let's just fucking hide them. So they've got some heavy artillery probably up here. I hope this, Hopefully this cavalry can go and deal with it. I'm just going to push to the base. That artillery, man, is just brutal. Uh, let's clump up a little bit so we can just hide. So where's artillery coming from? Let's take a look. Probably over here. Oh, right here. Arty here. So we'll just ping that there. Hopefully our team can deal with it. And we'll just run through the base. Either decide to start capping or make our way to try and deal with the artillery. We're obviously over here just to try and defend. I'll bring my pikemen up here as well. We actually have, already have pikemen there. So I'll get ready to block this path if the time comes. What are you doing with this pikemen? We'll let the hoplite phalanx deal with it. Don't I know this person's going to put it down as well. So artillery right here. I guess we'll go deal with it because we could cap, but I imagine that light artillery is going to just come in and really hurt us. They've also got some other people around there as well. These missiles, though, can just literally just constantly start shooting there. We'll barrage that as well. Why not? And we could just cap. I'm going to leave one unit back to cap and just kind of mess around with one unit in their base, I think. That barrage going off, doing some good damage. These pikemen just need to hold that. I mean, I have my pikemen as well. I'm going to have to push into here to stop the cavalry from coming in as well. 
Don't go into the fire, please. That light artillery has just been set up as well. I mean, we're going to come in here and hopefully stop all of this cavalry. Let's be so careful now. Can't really do this, but we can maybe try and get around the side a little bit. Like so. We're getting peppered by artillery. That's fine, though. We'll get our phalanx down and basically just kill this entire unit really nicely. Obviously, we have to be very careful because of all their missiles. So I'm going to maybe try and uh, rotate around a little bit. Like so. So we'll just try and rotate around. We'll obviously pop that as well. So yeah, the fatigue is actually fucking big. Wow. This should reduce our fatigue, should it not? That fatigue is huge. We regenerate a lot quicker. Okay, I did not. I was not expecting that. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. The light artillery is coming back, so we're going to have to go deal with that. I mean, we're basically unbreakable. And we're probably doing a lot of damage right now to all of these guys. But that fatigue is actually brutal. Yeah. Interesting. I did not need to do that, but we'll just push forward anyway. I mean, we're just going to continue to rip through these guys because we must be doing a lot of damage. Base is being a bit captured. Let's go deal with that. We have not had a good game, really. I've played really badly. Um, it's fine, though. We can just come around here. You guys get ready to go out of there. Yeah, we have not had a good game. Like, honestly, it's, it's just really taken me off guard. I don't know why it took me off guard. I obviously should have been expecting it, but... I guess we're just going to go ahead and melee these guys. Nice, our fatigue's gone down. So what does the fatigue do? I, I imagine it... Again, we'll pop that as well. And we'll push on to these pikemen. And we're doing okay damage. Shield bash them and then probably pull out. That's annoying. We'll pop our buff though. It's fine. And we'll try and rotate a little bit as well. And then I'm going to friendly fire the fuck out of this guy. There we go. That's a lot of damage on that guy. And hopefully kill all of these horses as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage, man. That's perfect. Let's just rotate there. No! No! Oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, no. I messed up. I got rid of my phalanx. I'm the worst player in the world. I fat-fingered it. No! I was about to kill all of these guys. Um, yeah, I mean, you're already dead anyway. Let's make our way back to the base. So, I don't know how we're top. I've played absolutely appallingly. I was just kind of getting the hang of pikes, and now I have to deal with this fatigue, and, that, and I'm also trying to play on all three different fronts. It's kind of been a bit much, honestly. Um, we need to try and take out that light artillery. We actually have some pikes left. Come on, let's get my phalanx down, or my pike wall down. Scare him off a little bit. Uh, not really, didn't really pay off, unfortunately. We need a decap, though. Uh, decap, decap, boys. This cavalry needs to go decap. We need to decap. Decap. Oh, no. This cavalry has gone for the, uh, the artillery. I think that's going to be GG. Yeah, no. We don't know if these guys can get back, but they're really slow. Oh, they're going to go out of the cap. Oh, the artillery. Artillery. One more shot. Probably has one more shot in. Oh, what a hit right there. That artillery. I'm going to give him a shout out right now. Mech 86, you are the MVP, my dude. The rest of the team, yeah, I mean, this slinger dude has carried the fuck out of me this game. I mean, we still have 2,000 aggressions, so don't get me wrong. But I, yeah, my micro has not been on point at all in this game. We're still making our way back to the base. Hopefully the artillery could... I mean, that's one of the good things about Passage of Augustus is that the, um, the bases don't really have any cover from artillery. Especially if you have, like, an archer unit up here. You can just volley your base constantly. But we're going to come in and basically scare these guys off. Nice vision as well by this uh, Barbarian player as well. Allow the artillery. And they're basically going to have to run away now. Oh, God. The old the switcheroo. <laughs> We've got, we got a few dudes. We'll try and kill a couple of these guys who got pushed back. I mean, now he should just run in. Fuck the fires. He'd just kill me if he ran in. We get our, we get our pikes back soon, so it's fine. Get out of the fire. Now, I'm assuming he's going to charge me, which is fine. Hopefully, he does. Oh, he's just trying to bait me. But to be fair, I'm in no rush. Like, he hasn't got his fire, he hasn't got his fire back. I'm going to let him just push in. Maybe try and catch a dude or two. 
I don't want to. I don't want to lift up my pikes though. Hey, I'll just. I'll wait here all day, my dude. We got reinforcements coming. We're winning the battle. No need for me to go and chase you. Your fire is going to be like another 20 to 30 seconds. We have artillery coming in, clearing the base. No, I'm good. I'll just sit here. I'll just sit here and wait. We're capping your base as well. More reinforcements coming. He's going to go after them, meaning I can go and clear out the base. I think it's better I go clear out, clear out the base more than anything else. Because these guys should be safe. They're fast enough. Maybe this guy will be a little bit of an issue, but the Falcons should be able to deal with it. And I'll just stop this cap from going so that the rest of our team can move into their base. But it's looking pretty good for us. So first thoughts, I did not think the pike uh, fatigue would be that crazy. I think we're going to play one more battle after this because I just don't feel like I've done it justice. And we're going to uh, we're going to keep all of our pikes together because trying to uh, trying to like organize it when I've got all my three units, one in the base, one over here, and one fighting up there, it just didn't really work out. And this guy has to run for his own fire now as well, so I guess it's not too bad. He's going to try and get out now, but it's not going to look good for you, my, my dude. Out you go. Out you go. Get out of my cap point, dude. I'll run for your fire. Lose your cap. Perfect. See you later, my dude. Uh, so I think that's game. I think that is game. This guy's still fighting. Trying to decap a little bit. I mean, he can just sit there and cap. I'm not going to chase him. Just go and help route this guy so we have a spare unit up. Yeah, I mean, what? I don't know why you're pinging me because, like, what I can see. He's not going to charge me, though, is he? I'm just going to turn around him and he's going to run away. And then, yeah, like, I'm just going to go to my base now. He also caps so slowly, so it's not really an issue. But yeah, as I was saying, like, I feel like I didn't really get to properly test out the fatigue because I split up all my units. I'm definitely going to have to in future. Is he going to charge me? Pikes down, and there you go. So, like, even though he managed to get the, the charge off on me, I got my pikes down a second before he put, went down, and now he's just pretty screwed. We'll shield bash as well with what we have, and then he's just basically dead. Ooh, that cavalry charge, though. Luckily, we won. <laughs> but that cavalry charge was still caught on camera. So this time, we'll keep all of our men much tighter, much more compact, and we'll see if we can really determine, because my initial thoughts were, damn, that seems like... It's, cut, it's piling up pretty quickly, the fatigue. But may, maybe it's just because I wasn't really paying attention. I was engaging a big portion of enemy forces. So yeah, let's jump into another game and see how it affects us there. Okay, so this will be a great map to test out the Pike Fanxes, I think, because we'll be running across a lot of tight spaces where we'll need to be going back and forth, especially around this area. If they try and push across the river, we should be able to deal with it, which is somewhere I always like to do. Now, if you're playing in a group, it's probably a good idea to, you know, team up with some archers and just protect the center with your fight in the shade. But it's fine. We'll, we'll push across and uh, we'll see what we can get done. So, yeah, we'll just probably put like two units over here. And then I think we were okay with just one. The only real, as I said, problem that we can run into here is if, for example, we run across someone who is running, uh, you know, light artillery, heavy artillery or javelins. But we should be able to basically block off these paths. I'm hoping we run, again run across someone who else is playing pikes because I always love uh, to fight that. It looks like we're going for one. A hell of a push for on this right flank. Which I'm all okay about. Doesn't look like they're really going back heavy in the center either. Light artillery. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's just try and avoid that. Uh, everyone's running back as well. I mean, fighting the shade, I guess. But I don't think that really helps. I guess we're just going to push. Don't really know why this guy's falling back. I think fighting the shade does help. Because it is missile block at the end of the day. Basically, we just need to push this guy out of that position. Um, and I guess it will take some damage beforehand. Gonna hurt, but I don't know. This is probably a really, really bad decision. And the river as well. Oh, yeah, we're getting fucking chewed up right now. But I'd rather, I guess. Oh my god, that damage is insane. I don't know if Fire Machine does actually help. I mean, either way, we're getting close. We'll be able to pike this guy. Well, we've at least managed to push him back here. So everyone just get across. We've lost like half our units for no reason. But I'm, I mean, it doesn't look like he's retreating, so I think we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. Good. I think he's retreating now, but it's kind of a bit too late. We need some cavalry up here. would be, like, amazing. Okay, like, dude's there. You guys go in there. And you guys spin around. So, yeah, that fatigue is going up pretty quickly. 
So I guess we're going to have to try and you know, just try and manage that as much as we can. He'll be vengeanced as well against me. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, you definitely should be down there as well. But fatigue does seem kind of high, honestly. I want to push forward so we can stop this guy from retreating. There we go. We've caught this guy as well. I guess we'll go back now. You go around there to help out that. We've got barbarians chasing them. So, yeah, the fatigue does seem quite high, honestly. Like, from what I thought it would be. You know, like, because you're much slower. You have a lot less, you know, maneuverability than the hoplite. So, uh, because of that, I was expecting uh, the fatigue to be a lot quicker. Now, obviously, I have my, I have that, which reduces it a lot quicker. But even still, like, I don't know. I was kind of expecting something a little bit less. Uh, I do not want this guy to get out. So, we're going to try and block this. Oh, he's going to try and deploy. Um, well, I think we might just push on him. Can you shield bash either? And now just pull back. Uh, you guys stop that and just go and kill these guys now. And then we're all good here. That is friendly uh, dude as well. Just fight them. Shield. Oh, don't fight them. A shade, you fools. Push forward now. Do not let them out. Do not let them dudes out. There we go. We stopped them. Uh, you guys can fall back though. Okay, so not, well, not amazing, but not the, the worst kind of play around in the end. Again, yeah, the fatigue just seems like it goes up really quickly. I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing bad because I'm not used to it. I don't really play phalanxes. Um, I don't... He's... We're just going to keep on falling back. Let the rest of the dudes do their job. Hopefully, this cavalry can make its way around and deal with them. It should be able to. Just run through. Just run through. The cavalry's stuck. Oh, that would have been nice to kill that. Um, so, yeah, we took a lot of damage early on due to the fa uh, to, due to the light artillery. We kind of tanked it for the purpose of wiping that out. I mean, any smart player would have just retreated. But the armored le legionaries, I think, were screwed either way. Uh, because they're so slow, we would have caught them with our, our javelins and stuff. So, that was actually kind of not... I guess it was kind of okay to take that damage to begin with. I mean, as soon as we engaged, we basically took no damage whatsoever. And we are coming around as well to try and support the center. It looks like they are pushing our base here with something. Hmm. I might send some stuff back to base as well, just like our general unit, just in case. I feel like these two are probably fine. We shouldn't be running through the woods either, so let's go around this way. Just so we stay out of the woods a little bit. Let's keep going around. We'll go like here and like there. We'll just queue up a few of them attacks. We'll send one unit back to base. Just Oh, we'll send one unit this way, actually, just so we can kind of decide. I think they are going to go for our base at some point. Uh, we really need this taken care of, though. Put up our, our shields. It's going to be a bit slower, but it should be okay. And I'm going to try and get my pikes in on the side of this guy. Hopefully, he doesn't retreat. And I'll just try and support. Obviously, we'd be very careful of them javelins. This cavalry is literally what will make us win or lose, I think. Okay, pikes down then, I guess, boys. <laughs> That's a lot of damage right off the bat. Obviously, we'll fall back and we'll shield bash and then fall back, I think. These guys need to be taken care of. Oh, my God. That was ridiculous. Um, yeah, we need our cavalry here, like, now. Oh, my God. I wasn't on fire in the shade there, which was my bad. Oh, my God, though. That damage is insane. How strong these javelins are. Like, I knew javelins were good, but that was just, just made me feel a little bit sick, honestly. We'll try and scare them off so we can try and do some other stuff till cavalry turns up. Wait, don't... Don't get involved. Like, put down your pikes. Yeah, that is just insane. Like, we need cavalry here, like, now. Otherwise, we literally are not going to kill them. You guys are going to move in there, which is good. And um, I'm okay doing friendly fire here. I'm actually going to route them as well. Wait, what? I did not press that, did I? Like, what am I supposed to do here? I guess just block off this area. I think we just got fighting the shade off there. We need, like, this cavalry needs to come and kill this. Like, desperately, honestly. Yeah, so I'm, just, I'm just dead there. Unfortunately, there's not really much I can do. We've managed to kill that, and we also... Oh, oh that was lucky. That was lucky I decided to look there. And we'll pop that off as well. And just try and rotate around a little bit. But yeah, it's like, what can men do? Like, it's, this cavalry is just not prioritizing what it needs to kill. We'll push forward a little bit and then obviously retreat back. Try and uh, stutter step back a little bit. 
I'm just going to sit here and take this because hopefully it keeps these guys up here. Oh, this cavalry. And this is one of the reasons why you shouldn't blob. Because right now, he could be sending one unit to kill this, and the other unit could be dealing with this. You know, it's much harder to do so, but... And we also have an entire cavalry up here. Cav, hunt, miss. Please, for the love of God, just try and kill these dudes. Like, it's not hard. We have so much cavalry left. This game should be so easily won. And yet, they're still chasing, like, the artillery. Just kill the javelins at all costs. The javelin's going to kill these horses now in, like, one volley. I don't want to put my pikes down there. I don't really know what to do. I guess go to our base, deal with this. Hopefully, the sooner we're here. Like, just go after their missiles. We literally win the game if you go after the missiles. This is brutal. This is upsetting to watch as well, because these javelins, like, how many points is he on? 4k aggression? Yeah. And he doesn't even have any defense either. That's the worst thing. All the cab needs to do is just go and kill the javelins. Battle, just go kill the javelins. There's nothing protecting them. Ah, oh, some people, man. It just seems so common sense to uh to go and kill them, but apparently not. There you go. We should have this guy dealt with. Don't run into my pikes. I mean, as as I said, like again, I'm not played uh great in this game, but come on. You see undefended slingers and javelins, and you go and kill them. It's not that difficult. And we've also lost our Greek cavalry, unfortunately, as well. But so yeah, I don't really know. We have javelins of our own, which is good. So we can push. They have somehow have that cavalry left when it was duking our missiles for so long. We have to push, though. I'll try my best to protect this. I mean, it's really not hard. This cavalry just splits up two, two units, go after javelins, one go after the slingers. Our javelins come in as well. Um, and we easily kill them. Easily kill them. But let's just push up and we'll, we'll see what we can get done. I'll you know, basically try my best to protect these missiles for as long as possible. And honestly, if we kill the jabs, we win. And somehow they have the light artillery still alive as well. Somehow. I don't know how that's even possible. Yeah, these javelins are going to be so important to kill. I'm going to have to play. My, my next video, I think, is going to be a cavalry gameplay because this has just triggered me to, to be on to no end. Oh, yeah, that's just going to be so painful. That was my bad buy. I knew they had light artillery. I should have dived for this. They're in such a good position right now. Our cavalry is charging. Calm down, Jackie. He's clearly just a new player, and hopefully this will be a good learning curve for him. Hopefully he'll realize that he, he isn't supposed to do this and, you know, it will improve his map awareness and he'll understand next time that not to attack something like that. So, you know, it's just simply a, simply a learning curve. And that's all it is. Um, yeah, get ready to attack them and I'll come in with my fighting machine and try and turn their backs. So this is a really good strategy you can try and do when you're fighting against enemy missiles. Is you, I can charge these missiles, which is going to basically force them to turn their backs. And that will allow our javelins to hopefully get one or two more volleys off. Unfortunately, they didn't get it that time. And now I'm kind of in the firing ranks. But, you know, that's one of the great things to do. And now the javelins, I mean, the javelins did the right thing. This was a kind of a poor play by me. Like, why are we even trying to attack this? now he's uh that's brutal yeah there's not really much we can do this game is kind of over um maybe i could have done but like because everyone would have just run away and our cavalry seems to be more than okay of just killing itself so yeah but you I mean the main purpose of this video was to really talk about the pike as as leonidas dies the main uh the, yeah the main purpose of this video was to simply talk about the phalanx fatigue for pikemen and to me it seems like it's kind of a bit high honestly um, I'm not sure. I assume it's just no knockback when the pike phalanxes are down, which I guess maybe isn't that bad. Um, just from the sole purpose, not necessarily what happens when you hit 100 fatigue or above 75 fatigue, but just in general, fatigue seems to go up very quickly. However, if the debuffs are going above 75, which I assume is just knockback, and you, if you're still doing damage, it's kind of okay. Maybe you're just receiving a little bit more damage. Maybe that's well balanced. I assume that's probably the case, right? That you just, you're not knocking back people so they can actually attack you back and you maybe take a bit more damage. 
However, you're still outputting a shit ton from the front anyway. So yeah, maybe that just kind of helps out a bit, especially when you're flanking the unit as well, so they take more damage. Um, so maybe, I, I don't know, yeah, maybe thinking about it. If that is the case, it probably seems like a really, really good change. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe we'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, if you think it's a good change, are you a pike player? Hey, we also just hit 5 mil uh, silver as well, making it rain on them them nice women um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to drop a like and a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one